Despite the time and effort spent on your email campaigns, you will have the odd time where people unsubscribe from your email list. As unfortunate as this may be, you can use it as a learning experience to help shape the kind of content and customer journey you will continue to provide for your existing and future subscribers. My name is Digital Girl, and in this MailChimp tutorial, I'm going to show you how to modify your unsubscribe success page to help you better understand why someone has chosen to unsubscribe from your email list. So once you're logged into your MailChimp account, we're going to head on over to the left hand side here and under audience, we're going to go ahead and click on sign up forms. From there, we're going to go ahead and select the form builder. So we'll hit select on the right hand side here. So that's going to pull up the form builder page where we can go ahead and edit all of the forms that MailChimp has to offer. Underneath Form Builder, we're going to click on the drop down menu here, and then go down under Unsubscribe and click on the Unsubscribe Success page. If we scroll down, we can see the different options that come as a default within MailChimp. But as you can see, some of them are quite vague and don't really paint a very good picture as to why someone would want to unsubscribe from your list. Now editing parts of the form are really quite easy. You can do it under the build it tab here. And all you have to do is select an area and then edit it. However, it's not very obvious as to how you can edit the actual radio buttons here. To do that, we're going to go ahead and head on up to translate it. And then from there, we can edit the actual options. There are quite a few fields here. But if you scroll down, you can see which ones need editing. So we'll go ahead and start with, I no longer want to receive these emails. And again, that doesn't really tell us why the person is unsubscribing. Now, obviously they don't want to receive emails. That's why they clicked the unsubscribe link in your email, but it doesn't really tell us why. So I'm going to change this option to something a little more personal and a little more specific. which is, I am no longer interested in learning about marketing. This will tell us that it's not necessarily the content that we're putting out, but perhaps that the person's circumstances have changed. Maybe their business has closed or perhaps they've even retired. So if we scroll down, we'll see that the next up on the list is I never signed up for this mailing list. And that one will be in the second field here. And for this option, we're going to get even more specific. So a lot of the content that we put out right now is designed to help you tackle a very specific task. If someone was to select this option, they may be interested in much longer content where they can learn something from start to finish as opposed to watching or reading short form content. So next up on our list is the emails are inappropriate. So I'm going to go ahead and lump that with the next option. And then that way I can use this third option for something else. So we'll go ahead and edit this one here. If we start to find that a lot of people are checking off this option, we can then assess the frequency in which we're releasing our email campaigns. So let's say you run a weekly newsletter and a lot of people start to check off this option. You may want to reassess and think, you know, do we move to a bi-weekly schedule? Do we move it to a monthly schedule perhaps? Either way, it'll help to determine whether or not the frequency is a contributing factor to your unsubscribe rate. Now, again, I kind of wanted to merge the spam and inappropriate lines into one. So I'm just going to modify this one slightly. All right, so that's it for our changes. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the Save Translation Settings button. And if we scroll down here, we can see our new changes have been applied. 
And now we have a modified unsubscribe success page that's filled with more specific options. These options will help us to understand why someone has chosen to unsubscribe and will help us to strengthen our email marketing strategy in the long run. For marketing tips and free resources, be sure to sign up for the eStore Kings email newsletter. We will leave a link in the description below. And be sure to subscribe to the eStore Kings YouTube channel for more tutorials.